The McNeil River runs through a state game sanctuary, which means the bears are safe here, can't be hunted by humans, only viewed. It's been that way for more than 30 years. And it's a mutually beneficial encounter. The visitors get an eyeful, the bears get their fish, and both get to survive to tell the story. I felt the truck shake. I looked in the rearview mirror and I saw a, it was a large black figure, furry figure. No. But you do fear bears. I do fear bears. Okay. Mm -hmm. The other They're thing giant is... giant marauding, godless killing machines. <laughs> There's one right there. Right there. Okay. That's not a real bear, right? No. Tonight, dolphin charged with six counts of manslaughter. Brutal killer or squishy sea mammal? Bagpipes? Musical instruments of the future? Hear what some are already talking about. And our main story tonight, a man who kills bears with his bare hands. Contras naturalist or raging alcoholic? You decide. News at 11. Can you believe this? What's that? A man was hunting bears in the Alaskan wilderness around 6 o'clock in the evening, when suddenly he was swept away by a flash flood. To keep from drowning, he slung his rifle over his shoulder and grabbed the bear he's just killed, and used it as a flotation device. When he was finally washed ashore, he dragged the bear's corpse back to his cabin in time for dinner. And? And? And what? Oh, he shot and killed a bear. Big deal. That? That's a real man. More than you, anyway. Yeah, he'd be a real man if he killed that bear with his bare hands. What? That's ridiculous. No one kills wildlife with their bare hands. Of course they do. Man's been killing animals with his bare hands for thousands of years. What are you talking about? Think of the caveman. <laughs> That's different. We live in a totally different time now. Hey, what about the man in Arkansas killed a buck in his daughter's bedroom? Yeah, he just grabbed the antlers and twisted it as hard as he could, snap, snap. What? Where did you hear that? That's not true. Honey, could you hand me some toilet paper? Thanks, Cupcake. Oh, hey, how about that guy in Kenya, huh? He was attacked by a leopard. And, and apparently God told him to reach into the leopard's mouth and pull out the tongue. So he reached into the mouth and pulled out that tongue. Leopard bled to death. The man was a 73-year-old peasant farmer, for God's sake. There's no way a 73-year-old man killed a leopard. Yes, it did. And speaking of bears, what about the uh, man who holds the world record for killing bears with his bare hands, huh? <laughs> so, Mr. Bear Hunter. Call me Bear Hunter. All right, Mr. Bear Hunter. Today I'm here to talk to you about your odd pastime of... I kill bears. <laughs> exactly. It says here that you hold the record for the most bears killed with your bare hands. Yeah, that's right. Well, exactly how many bears have you killed with your bare hands? Well, let me see. There's 
no way he's killed seven bears with his bare hands. It's true. I've seen it. That's ridiculous, unless they were cubs or really sick bears. I mean, come on. Porno's on. All the bears you've killed were fully grown, healthy adult bears? Yes, yeah, they were, uh, all, those, all the ones that counted for the records were adults. Uh, occasionally I have to kill a cub to lure him out of hiding, and occasionally just keep him on their toes. Huh, remarkable. Seven bears. What happened to make killing bears with your bare hands an obsessive pastime? It all started about a year ago. Me and my friend Jimmy were out hunting. It was black bear season. We were filming by chance. You ready, Jimmy? I'm gonna get that bastard right between the eyes. You're telling me this man overpowered a 400 pound bear and then stabbed it, only sustaining minor injuries? Yeah, I don't, I don't think he was hurt at all. And there's more to it than that. He didn't just overpower it. What the hell? Is this a twist off? I mean, seriously, again? Every damn time. So I jumped up, grabbed him around the neck, and I got him pretty good, but he couldn't reach me with his claws, and so I had to shove my arm down his throat and grab him by the inside of the esophagus. I pulled out my knife, and I just sawed at his neck till his head fell off. Wow, you just cut his head off right there? Yeah, I've since perfected my methods, but it took a lot of experimentation. Yeah, that's gonna do the trick. Uh, yeah. Uh. Uh. Oh yeah, hear that? <laughs> Come get some, bitch! Thank you. Now I'm curious as to how animal activists such as PETA view your activities as the bear hunter. I get a lot of threatening letters and phone calls from them. Tree hugging hippies and whatnot calling me small minded, barbaric. Usually I just give them a piece of my mind and the letters they end up kindling pretty quickly. I'm quite sure that many people view your activities as archaic in nature and, and surely barbaric. After all, you are killing bears with your bare hands. Doesn't that seem brutal and aggressive towards the environment? I actually feel that I'm performing a service to the, for the environment. Without me and people like me out there killing these bears, 
There'd be overpopulation. They'd be driven in the city looking for foods, killing people. I'm a conservationist, damn it. Killing wild bears and leaving their corpses to rot in the forest isn't very conservative. Let's get one thing straight. I use every part of the bear. I use everything down to the last bite. We know this image won't jibe with some people's impression of polar bears as big, cuddly animals in clean white coats. But this is reality in all its gory glory. That's disgusting. I think I'm going to be sick. He's a true hunter. Mm-hmm. Just like the Native American and the caveman. So you believe that this arrogant psychopath is the epitome of a true man? Yeah, I guess I do. Shit, I'm gonna be late. What? You men are unbelievable. You're just jealous because he's such a badass. As you can see, I don't waste any part of the bear. Even the blood you're drinking right now came from the bears I kill. <coughs> you okay? I'm so sick and tired of Ryan babbling on about that stupid bear guy. So what should the audience take away from this interview? How have these experiences molded you into the man you are today? I think that I've finally just found my niche, my place in the world. I'm now at one with nature, and I found out who I truly am. And who exactly are you? I'm the bear hunter. the hell? Someone in my driveway? You'll have to excuse me. What the hell do you think you're doing? Do you know who I am? How dare you? I swear by everything that is holy that if you ever go onto this driveway again, I'll cut your fucking head off. What? I said. Okay, I'm sorry. I promise I'll never do it again.